What is going on everyone? I'm going to show you guys how to get your GameCube online in the year 2018. Yes, I know it's a little bit weird, 2018, why would you still want to play GameCube? But there are, well, I mean, of the 500 games available, 500 plus slightly, there are four games that you can play online, of which um, I'm going to be showing you how to get one of them online. And that game itself is Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2. Now, again, I want to make this very, very clear. This is a tutorial for the GameCube with the broadband adapter. This is not going to be about the Wii or the Wii U or using any kind of Ethernet cable thing or the Dolphin or anything like that. So if you have any questions, you know, you have to check with someone else. This is specifically for those who want to do the old school method of having the original GameCube with a broadband adapter connected to their router directly. Now, I've got this all um, laid out for you here as well. Uh, first, I want to apologise about the capture as well. I can't seem to capture to my laptop because... You know, let's not really get into a discussion at the moment about those stupidly expensive component cables for the GameCube. So the best I'm going to do is just record straight from the TV, but there isn't really too much to look at when it comes to uh, the TV kind of set, uh, part of the tutorial itself. But let's get right onto the core parts that you need. Now this here is a copy of Fantasy Star Episode 1 and 2 for the GameCube. Um, this, this, the game isn't expe that too expensive, you're, lo you're looking at about maybe 15 or so pound, 12 to 15. Um, don't go any more than 20, but yeah, all you need is just a copy of this. Make sure you've got the manual inside, that's really important because even though this we are connecting to a, um, a fan hosted server, you do need to make sure that you know you have the um, access code which you can find again at the back of the manual which will be these two codes here. Next up you do need the, the uh, GameCube broadband adapter and I want to make this part very clear, this is really really important because I've made this mistake myself. <laughs> you need the broadband adapter and the code for this is DOL-015. Um, I've actually made the mistake of picking up the modem, which is D, which is DOL-012. So again, make sure you pick up a, a broadband adapter. That's um, and if you are in my case, we've purchased a Japanese one. It's DOL-015. That's super important. Another way to tell as well is that on the side of the Japanese ones, it says ADSL, Cat, uh, Cat V, and FTTH. Again, which does confirm this is related to broadband um, internet settings. Um, this, is actually, this did actually come as well with a, a big box version of Homeland because this is also one of the one of the four online games for GameCube. Um, again, this tutorial, tutorial, tutorial is not going to be for Homeland, it's going to be for Fantasy Star um, Online. And yeah, this uh, actually came with um, that inside there as well. The broadband adapter itself will probably set you back. Loose box, maybe about 50 or so quid. Um, I got this from Japan directly. Um, for £70, we're also with the game, but also the fact that they're both in really good condition as well. I mean, the boxes are in perfect condition, um, no real issues with it there as well. Um, also, because I do collect Japanese GameCube games, I've got Japanese GameCube and stuff like that. So, yeah, you could, this is also proof that you can use Japanese peripheral um, for a PAL uh, GameCube as well. And I'm sure this will also work the same for NTSC. So, for those in North America, this tutorial should also be quite handy for you. Um, but yeah, make sure it's DOL-015, that there is the broadband adapter for the GameCube. And then next up as well is the GameCube itself. Now this is just a regular PAL GameCube, this is the first model, so as you can see on the back it does actually have the digital AV out. It does also have the third slot there, um, which you can see which was taken out in later versions. Now the first thing you want to do is just again make sure your GameCube works, works fine. So we've got the disc in here, Fantasy Star disc spinning around, looking all good. We then also have the power cable at the back. We then have the TV output. We've got a um, just a, you know, Resident Evil 4 generic kind of GameCube controller, nothing special there. I have also plugged in the broadband adapter already as well. So you can see it's plugged in. And I've also got an Ethernet cable running straight from the GameCube to the back of this router because we don't have dial-up in this house. I don't even have a phone line in this house actually because who the hell uses a phone in a uh, dial-up phone in this day and age? <laughs> so that's all set up, we're looking good, we've got the broadband adapter connected, everything's all good, looking all good on my end. Um, the next thing you want to do now is you then want to go onto the computer to set yourself up for an online account. Now the account side of this isn't really too difficult, I'll have a link to this description, a uh, link to this website, sorry, in the description below. But basically we're going to be connecting to this here, which is Silver Rent. This is a, uh, as I mentioned previously, a fan hosted server for the game so that people can still connect with each other and play this game online because obviously the servers have been taken down. I think they only lasted about three or four years or so, which really isn't that much. But, you know, considering it's the GameCube online, it's, uh, you know, there's not really too much you can really say about that. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, I'll put the link to the description of this below. Um, this is really important as well. The If you click onto this bit here, which it says how to connect, it will then take you onto a web page as to how you can actually connect your game online as well. Um, and the one you want to be looking for here is the GameCube... Fantasy Star Online Episodes 1 and 2 GameCube, so we're going to click that. And it's actually just this, this small uh, three-paragraph section here. It's a really, really simple process. really doesn't take too long to do. 
and um, once you've got yourself set up as well you'll actually have your account here so yeah make your account uh, make sure you click onto uh, this section here to make sure you do it right um, I'm gonna quickly show you something as well so we go to account management and I'm quickly just gonna hide this little bit here as well so you can see here on the website you're given a small bit that says guild card so you've got guild card serial number access key and all that lot these are the same ones that you can find on the back of the manual so if I scroll down any further you'll see my GameCube one which obviously I don't want to give out but again on the back of the manual let's hide this you can find just input the serial access code onto the website here once you've made your account again it's all in that tutorial really really short three paragraph section very very simple you can't really go wrong with it to be honest so if I hide that down there you can see I've got my access key and everything's already sorted out on that so yeah follow the follow this process on the website and you'll be set on how to connect again really really simple stuff and if you do get stuck just leave a comment in the section I can kind of guide you on the website but honestly if you follow at least these two first sections here then you're perfect then you're set so with that out of the way let's actually get started on playing the game online itself so this again this is quite a simple process nothing too much to go over but i'm going to guide you through the whole process from a completely new save file so that um, you don't really kind of get lost or confused i don't want to kind of skip over anything as well so we've got quite a few splash screens and then we'll have to do the setup as well this is going to be a completely fresh new memory card so yeah we'll click on agree we'll go to no and it's going to make all the necessary files on the get on the memory card itself because this does take up 28 slots as I did just mention so again make sure you've got the space for that as well so let's go to options and then let's do the network options and we're going to go to provider and we're going to go to yes network setup I'm going to go I've already entered this one for mine so let's go to edit, yeah. You can leave this as is, as well as the line, line timeout, leave that as is as well. Then you wanna make sure you connect to this address here, which is 138.197.20.130. You can skip this as well, and then go to save, and you should be good. This will then now start to connect to, um, this will then save to your memory card. And we are good, so let's return to the game. So let's go to online game. <laughs> and we've got no character, so we're going to make one. And we'll skip the cutscene as well. <laughs> going to make just a generic looking hunter. And we'll call him, call out one. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, I'm going to agree. So this is the part here where you enter in your serial number. Again, this is the part that I said will be on the back of your uh, manual um, and also what you use to enter in on the website as well. So I'm actually gonna have mine covered up here just while I input this. And connect to DNS, and there we go. Welcome to Sil Silver Rand Server. So let's select a ship. Uh, sorry, select a ship. Oh, there's uh, one person online. Let's join them. Give it a go. And we are now in Fantasy Star Online. So now you can start playing the game uh, with all other people online, which is pretty much barely anyone. So yeah, just um, keep that in mind. Uh, that's in case uh, you do find there's no one online. You know, it's just the fact that you are playing the game together online. So. 
yeah, hopefully you guys uh, kind of got a little bit about this. Uh, this is just showing that this is still working as of 2018 and a kind of quick impromptu tutorial as to how you want to do it online as well. Hopefully that helps. Enjoy.